To get in or out of the Hasidic community of Tosh, people now have to pass this checkpoint and can only come or go if it's essential. The members of the community are doing the checkpoints, but our police officer can help them if they need help. They asked to be isolated after at least 15 people tested positive for COVID-19. Their goal is to prevent a bigger outbreak from sweeping through the community and affecting neighbours. No synagogues, no meetings, no schools, everything is locked down. Public health officials call it an extraordinary measure. It's quite an intervention. It's um, maybe the most difficult decision in my life, but it's really to protect the member of the community and protect the member of the community around, surrounding them. Tosh is an ultra-Orthodox Jewish community within the Montreal suburb of Boisbriand. One community leader says they became concerned after residents who had returned from celebrating the Jewish holiday of Purim in New York earlier this month started coming down with symptoms. We don't have any outbreak like it's in Montreal or any other area. We still wanted to be responsible, so we asked the government, help us do a lockdown so we control the community, we make sure we protect our neighbours and everybody else. He says Tosh has followed all public health orders and more, but he worries about stigma. We ask the neighbours to be the same kind to us as we are doing. Please give us that, understand it. Police say they checked in on schools and synagogues in the community last week and that all of them were closed. And for this community with large families used to congregating, that's been a big change. People are emotional, the emotions are high. They understand that safety is the most important thing, and everyone knows that they're doing the right thing both to humanity, to themselves, and to God by adding another layer of safety. Public health officials say they expect more cases, but are confident the measures in place can keep them under control. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.